let because they take something away from you when you get into high school that you will miss for the rest of your life. Recess. <laughs> Do you guys remember recess? And when I'm talking recess, I'm not even talking the time before school, the time at lunch. 15 in the morning, 15 in the afternoon. That was all you needed to make your life wonderful. Because what did you do during that time? Kindergarten, first grade. Older grades, you'd have the same teams all year long. Bell would ring, you'd go play. Kindergarten, first grade, you'd pick teams. <laughs> what? It's over? They, didn't, they had to use that time. Go and watch as a sociological experiment sometime. Go observe kindergarten, first grade kids at lunch and ask yourself, what are they doing? Because they can't play football, so soccer, hockey, basketball, four square, kiss tag, red rover, whatever it was they were doing. Kiss tag? You didn't play kiss tag? Seriously? Good game. <laughs> Guys versus girls? Awesome. You never tried very hard. You were like, oh no. You got me. Darn. <laughs> I'll be it now. Good times. And, and Red Rover, who invented this game? Red Rover is a good excuse to dislocate your shoulder, okay? I don't know who the kid was year, years ago who went, wait a second, wait a second, I've got a great idea. I'm going to hold his hand. You run into us at top speed. It'll be awesome. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Ow! Ow! No. Oh. Yeah, do it again. I mean, you got all these kids walking around, arms just don't work anymore. Like, I don't know. Guess I'll be left-handed now. <laughs> Trying to pop their shoulder back into place up against the wall like Mel Gibson and Lethal Weapon going poof, poof, poof. It's gross. Seriously though, go and watch the kindergarten kids. You won't see any of that stuff. All you're gonna see is a large group of small children running around screaming like crazy for 15 minutes. It's all they do. They just go ah, 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 freaking out. 15 minutes nonstop. They're venting is what they're doing. They're like, I can't take this two plus two crap anymore. Ah! And they lose it. They bump into each other. They don't even notice. They do, they go, ah! Ah! Massive head injuries. Bodies lying all over the field. It's like Braveheart out there. Got some kid with blue finger paint smeared across his face going, freedom! And, and I feel, I feel so bad for all the poor teachers out there on yard duty. Because they're out there going, sweetheart, honey, could you roll the unconscious kids over to the side? No, how about we not step on him, okay? And could you maybe put some pressure on his head wound? Yeah, he's losing a whole lot of blood. I mean, it was madness. And the funniest part is when the bell goes. Now, if you go and watch these kids, safety tip, stand a good hundred yards away. You haven't been there in a while, they'll kill you. They're like a little piranha, just tear you to shreds. Stay a good hundred yards away, watch them all freaking out, and then and they go. Ah! And they run for the door. Because they want to go back inside for some reason. Sure, you get two or three running the other way. And again, the poor teacher's like, sweetheart, honey, don't make me chase you. I just want, could you just, I'll oh, forget it, I don't get paid enough, and they just let him go. They end up getting raised by wolves or something, I don't know. But everybody else, man, you ran for that door because you wanted to go back inside. Now, I don't know what it was like at your elementary schools. I very clearly remember at mine, kindergarten, first grade, after recess, straightest line, always got to go back inside first. And you wanted to be in the straightest line. You would be losing it on your friends. Would you come on? Straighten up, we gotta get back in there. There are fractions to be done. I heard we're painting with blue today, let's go. Look, we were reading just before recess. Jack and Jill went up the hill. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I have a bad feeling about this. Let's go! I mean, you just... <laughs> You're so worried about that. And you, do you remember doing this? This was even better. You'd be in your nice little straight line. You'd go inside. You'd hang your coat up in your cubby. Because everybody had a cubby. 
I wish I still did. Like, yeah, that's my cubby. That would be awesome. <laughs> but you go and hang your coat up in your cubby, and you would go and drink from the water fountain and completely forget to breathe through your nose when you were drinking. Do you remember doing this? You'd be like, man, that was a good recess. You hit me pretty hard in the head. I almost passed out. Just give me one second. Gah! 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 I mean, it's an organ in the middle of your face. Might want to use that, but no, there are children drowning in water fountains all over the world. And nobody cares. <laughs> they should they have little beds for all the kids that pass out from lack of oxygen to the brain. They're all like, Gah! Gah! Oh, you sleep it off, sweetheart. You'll be fine. Nobody your childhood was so cool you were seeing colors all the time. You're like, whoa. Give me some paste with this. <laughs> and I remember the day I lost that. First day of high school, Mr. Lauk's history class. Sitting there trying to pretend like I know what I'm doing. Clearly, I don't have a clue. I'm riding away. It's getting to be about 10 after 10 in the morning. I'm getting this unexplained twitch in my leg. And I'm like, what's going on? I'm freaking out. Turned the guy beside me and went, excuse me, um, shouldn't we be going out for recess soon? He went, dude, we're in high school now. We don't get recess. What? That wasn't in the brochure. I would have failed last year if I'd have known that. Come on. He said, no, it's because we're adults now. We don't need recess. Oh. Well, I was just kidding. Oh, clearly I'm an adult. I don't need, no, no, I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm joking. No, I'm good. I'm okay. Yeah, sure. By lunch that day, I was like, you, get away from me. <laughs> don't you know I haven't had my recess yet today? Shut up and leave me alone. By the end of the day, I would lose the English language altogether. I'd be wandering the hallways going, gal, 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 gal. Pace, gal, gal, Huddled in the fetal position in the corner, sucking on my thumb, sweating like a pig. It was terrible. I realized very quickly, I've got to do something about this or I'm going to hurt someone. Because, I mean, come on. Kindergarten, first grade, two plus two. Ooh. Get into grade 11, 12, algebra, calculus, physics. <laughs> you got a lot more going on. So once I figured this out, I'd be back there in Mr. Lauk's class. And I would be like, yes, excuse me, sir. Could I go to the bathroom, please? Sure, Ian, go ahead. <laughs> you fool. And I go down to the bathroom, close the stall door, and go, ah! Just speaking from personal experience, guys. Check under the other stalls before you do this. <laughs> Otherwise, people will be going, Hell! <laughs> I'm not having the special in the cafeteria today. That's just nasty. Someone call the nurse. I think he's in pain.